I've had a lot of people ask me what my opinion is about racism and uh, particularly the latest movement with uh, you know, black people matter. Well, here's the thing. Of course they matter. Of course white people matter. Of course Asian people matter. American people matter. Uh, New Zealand people matter. Australians matter. We all matter. Uh, Jesus put it this way. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You know, the, the answer to racism is to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Then you don't see color. Color is irrelevant. And yet it is a big deal with people that are centered on their own personal rights, that they think they have the right to declare that somebody else is important as if they are more important to declare this. Now, I want you to understand what I mean. You see, when we, as a race, whether white people, black people, or Asian people, declare somebody else's importance, bestowing it upon them, we're really elevating ourselves, as if we have the right to do that. By loving one another, it, it's irrelevant to be said. Now, I understand there's a problem in the world right now. I understand what's happening in the United States, and I understand why. Now, I'm not going to weigh in to the rights or the wrongs of it. I'm just going to cut to the chase. The Bible tells us this. There is now neither male nor female, Jew nor Greek. In other words, what the Bible is saying to us is we are equal under God. Now, Women have had the problem for many, many years trying to get themselves noticed. Now, when I say women have the problem, a lot of it is absolutely justified. How women have been treated so badly over the years. I get it. And yet, had men and women understood the words of Christ, and that is to love our neighbors, we love ourselves wouldn't have been an issue. You see, the Bible has the answers. When we stop playing God and start to submit to God, all these things become peripheral issues that actually don't matter because we now neither see the gender of a person as being more important nor do we see the color of somebody that is more or less important, but we see the person. So my advice or my words, my thoughts, are that all people matter. You matter. And you don't need somebody to go along and tell you that you're important. If you understand Jesus Christ, you'll understand that he died on the cross and he would have if you were the only one alive. He loves you and his hand is upon you. Now, if we want to encourage others, well, that's fine. However, what I've found is that love covers, and the word tells us this, love covers a multitude of sins when there is genuine love and love is as much an action as it is anything else then we notice it we see it we feel it just like an attitude can cross a room so does love you can feel it you receive it and it changes lives so what's my answer to the current movement that's happening love one another as God has also loved you.